Hello everyone, Morgan here. So today I'm gonna to be talking about some of the bulk foods that I buy and then where you can buy bulk foods. There's a lot of places to buy bulk foods and there's a lot of reasons why you should and shouldn't buy bulk foods. Now, first of all, buying in bulk is a really cost-effective and easy way to get a large amount of food very quickly, right? I can go to Costco and that's my first place. I can go to Costco and get a 50, 50 pound bag of rice. They have 25 pounds or 50 pound bags of rice at Costco for, you know, I think it's about 35 or $40, something like that. Super cost effective. Um, you know, it's, I can go get a five pound bag of rice from Walmart for $15 or I can go get a 50 pound bag for $35. Do the math there, right? 50 pounds is, that's not only cheaper, it's gonna be more cost effective and I'm gonna have a larger sum. All I have to do is then take that and put it in a Mylar bag with an oxygen absorber and I'm good to go, right? Because rice lasts forever. It's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing, okay? Um, you can get rice from Costco, Azure Standard. You can get it online. You can get it from Asian food markets. There's lots of places to buy rice and you don't have to buy it in bulk. I do recommend that you can also stock up on smaller bags, even though I said that it wasn't as cost effective. If you only have access to a grocery store, you know, just like a Walmart or whatever, then go ahead, buy whatever bag you can at Walmart and then buy it consistently, right? Buy that you know, two pounds or five pounds or, or 20 pound bags of uh, rice, um, you know, from Walmart and, and then get it, you know, slowly over time. Whatever is gonna be accessible and within your budget. Now, the next one that I buy is hard, uh, is wheat berries. Can you see this? Wheat berries. I used to buy wheat berries from Azure Standard, and that's pretty much exclusively where I got them when I lived in the lower 48. Now that I live in Alaska, I exclusively get them from the LDS store. Um, we had a local LDS store where I used to live in Texas, but we don't have it local here. However, LDS is amazing because they will ship it to me here in Alaska for only $3 shipping, and I just, I'm so grateful for that. I can get six number 10 cans for about $45. Um, from the LDS plus $3 shipping. So I can buy this once a month, once every other month, how whatever is in my budget, but I buy wheat berries very consistently and only in bulk, mainly because that's pretty much the only way I can buy it. You can buy them from Amazon. It is way expensive to buy wheat berries from Amazon. I highly recommend looking into Azure Standard or into the LDS store, whether you buy online or in person from them. I have heard that you can get wheat berries from Winco. Well, I've never had a Winco around me except for when I was a kid living in Oregon. So if you have a Winco around you, head on over there and get some wheat berries and you know, you lucky duck you. So the next one that I get is dry corn. Um, I get dry corn because we like to grind it up. You can also soak it and you know, just eat it, right? Um, I can feed it to animals. Dry corn is just an amazing thing to have on hand. So I can, I get dry corn. I used to get it again from Azure Standard, but and let me explain. One of the reasons I don't get Azure Standard anymore is because um, the taxes that my local host or whatever they're called um, was charging way too much. It didn't make it cost effective anymore. I can get it from other sources that don't charge me an arm and a leg for taxes. So, um, you know, that's just kind of the fact here for me personally living in Alaska, though they do ship here. Um, that was just the decision I made, though they do still have um, you know, hosts or whatever they're called, um, coordinators, whatever, uh, here in Alaska. But if you choose to do Azure Standard, they also have dry corn. Um, and then I, right now, am getting my dry corn from Amazon for actually about the same price that I was getting it from Azure Standard. So it, it uh, adds up for me. Some other things that I buy in bulk would be salt and sugar and then ground flour. I buy uh, bulk ground flour for my everyday and short-term layers. Um, ground flour can usually last about up to five years in a Mylar bag with an oxygen absorber. I say five years is probably the max for that. Um, but I do use a lot of flour every day, so I rotate it just so much. Um, if I'm gonna store any type of flour long-term, it's gonna be the wheat berries. And then I'll just grind the wheat berries into fresh flour. 
So um, for salt and sugar, I actually get from Costco. Again, you can also get those from Azura Standard. Uh, you can get them from, you can get bulk sugar and bulk ground flour from Walmart. They usually have the 25 pound bags, uh, but you can also uh, try to get them from Amazon as well. But I believe they're just not, you know, as cheap as you can get them other places. Uh, but yeah, you can get them from Azure. I actually get them from Costco, the salt and sugar and ground flour. I can get all of those. I got a 25 pound bag of salt and I uh, put it in a Mylar bag with no oxygen absorber. Again, same with the sugar. I put it in a Mylar bag with no oxygen absorber and they can last 25 plus years or more, okay? Popcorn is also one that I tend to wanna to buy in bulk. Uh, I used to be able to get that again from Azure Standard, uh, but I don't so much anymore. Uh, I will try to get it from Amazon or I will just buy the smaller ones from Walmart. Um, however I can get my popcorn, I'm gonna get it, okay? Popcorn for life! You can also grind popcorn just like you do uh, corn, so. Oats is another one that I was getting in bulk from Azure, but it, since I no longer go to Azure, you can absolutely get oats in bulk from Azure Standard. You, I haven't really seen them in too big a bulk from Costco. Maybe in your area, you might wanna look. I have never seen them in bulk from Walmart. Where I get my bulk um, oats is going to be from LDS store online in the number 10 cans. And then I just store them in a cool place. I do not repackage number 10 cans. Uh, it's unnecessary. Uh, they are already perfectly packaged and they sometimes can even last longer than, than uh, Mylar bags, you know, stuff packed in Mylar bags. So if you can get stuff in number 10 cans, you are solid. Just keep it away from moisture and in dark, cool places and you are set to go. So my top sources that are working best for me for some things are going to be Walmart, Amazon, LDS, and Costco. Now, again, there's also sources like Azure Standard, Winco, and I'm sure there are other like places like Asian food markets that you may be able to find other bulk items that you wanna store. Um, other things, if I don't store it in bulk, I will just get it a little at a time from the grocery store my normal visits, like things like pasta or cornstarch or any of those other things that, uh, I don't tend to get in bulk, but some other smaller bulk items, not maybe not the 25 or 50 pound bags, but things like anywhere from two to five pound uh, bags of things I will find from Amazon usually. So like cocoa powder, I will buy from Amazon. Um, and it comes in like, you know, five pound bags. Um, things like uh, cornstarch, I do buy those in like the two pound bag, things like that. Anthony's, Hoosier Farms, things like that, they will have really good deals on some bulk like powdered cheeses and, and, and uh, you know, the buttered milk, or the powder, the buttered milk, the powdered butter, uh, I will also get from like Augustin Farms and things like that. I want you to find the sources that are gonna work for you. I also want you to be able to find, shop around, you know, find not only the prices, but the sources that are just gonna work best for you, whether it's it's where it comes specifically, like a lot of people shop at Azure Standard because it's all organic and, and these kinds of things. People shop at LDS because they know that, you know, everything's grown by them and packaged and all these things and they're supporting, you know, who they wanna support. Um, or, you know, whatever the case may be, maybe Walmart is your only option. Um, maybe you want to, you know, mix it up. I order from Amazon, LDS, uh, you know, Costco, Walmart. I go to all these places because I want to device, diversify, find the best options for my budget, for um, how it's gonna be delivered to me, when it's gonna be delivered to me, and like how, as in like, is it a number 10 can? Am I gonna have to repackage it in a Marlboro bag and these kinds of things, so. I will also buy bulk coffee from uh, Costco. I will also buy uh, coffee, like green coffee beans from Amazon. Um, I try to uh, just find the best sources for bulk coffee as I possibly can. Um, I found that Costco has the best ground coffee in number 10 cans. I feel that those last at the absolute longest. So I will buy coffee in number 10 cans in the bulk, you know, number 10 cans um, from Costco. And then I will buy green coffee beans that I roast myself uh, from Amazon. So. Where do you buy your food in bulk? Let me know down in the comments and hopefully it'll help others buy their bulked food to stock up for the apocalypse. Thank you all so much for watching Conquer and Raw by preparing today. I'll talk to you later, bye.